Hi guys, how's it going? Today I just want to give you an update on the progress of the garden uh, that I've been working on this fall. And I've done quite a bit, but I'm kind of at a stopping point and we'll probably pick up on most of this next spring. So, what I've done so far is I went ahead and weeded my raspberry patch. It was really bad and I actually thought I had more raspberries than I did. Um, and I also went through and I removed all the blackberries except for one um, that, that I could see. I'll probably be battling that uh, next spring just because the blackberries send up so many suckers that I can't even see them all. So I'll probably be battling that for a bit, but I did decide to go ahead and take out the blackberries and not have them anymore. They're just taking space, taking resources, and literally I get like a handful of blackberries. Um, for that, I'd rather just buy them at the grocery. So I do think I'm going to get some more raspberries because they do produce and they taste so much better. Um, even the blackberries I would get didn't even taste very good. So there's no point in continue growing them. So I've also gone through, I've removed some things and I've also planted quite a bit. So I did plant um, another cherry tree and this variety is called North Star. And it is supposed to get six to eight feet wide and tall. So it's a very small variety. And that's what I was looking for because um, I can't have anything over than over 10 feet tall or else the electric company is going to want to cut it down. Um, and as a side note, there's actually uh, an article in our local paper. Our city asked the electric company to please wind down on the amount that they're cutting trees down here in Lexington. Um, they're say, they pretty much said, it, said it's obsessive and there's no reason to be cutting the amount of trees that they have been cutting down. So I wish they said that last year when they were in my neighborhood, because literally it was just, it was a massacre <laughs> of trees. It was really tough three months to hear chainsaws constantly cutting down trees. I'm very sensitive to that, so it was hard for me. I know some people don't care at all, but. Anyway, so what else I have to do over here? Um, I do, this is also a North Star cherry, but I planted it in this spring. And I bought it online. I actually can't remember where I bought it from, but um, it has done really well. It's put on a new growth, and I just need to put a mulch ring around it. This one, this other one I bought at a local nursery. You can see it's a much older tree. Uh, besides that, one big thing I did was there was a silky dogwood um, over here and it took me several attempts but i did get it out of the ground and they're so hardy that it was literally had roots exposed for like two two weeks and it was actually putting on new growth <laughs> so it was kind of crazy to see that and i actually had a friend come and picked it up and i hope hopefully he planted it and hopefully it will have another happy home so i was glad for that um, so as far as planting, back in that area, I planted this gold cone juniper and I have a couple of others in my yard. Um, the new growth on it is a gold color, so in the spring that will be really pretty. And I've also put two clumps of iris in here and the next um, variety is called Grey Woods Katrina. And so I couldn't pass up getting that because that's my name, uh, Katrina. And you can't really see it, but in the back I planted a purple colored nine bark, uh, the variety called Little Joker. Um, I planted one for a client and I thought it was really cool. So I picked one up for me as well. And I'll see if it can't go over here. So there it is.
you see that purple color. And another thing I've done, I put my composter together. Uh, it's a tumbler. Um, I put, I have a video on when I put that together and I'll be doing another video on it as a, as a review, but so far it's been pretty good. So other than that, um, I've weeded this bed so it's nice and ready uh, to be mulched. And I'm going to be mulching, mulching it over the winter. Um, I'm so busy in the spring and in the summer, the only time I really get to work on my garden is in the fall. At least on projects like this. Usually in the spring, I'm going 100 miles an hour taking care of the vegetable garden. So. Uh, this project has been on my agenda for at least two years and I'm just now getting it getting to it and I really got on the ball this fall um, so I wouldn't run out of good weather and so far it's been great um, another thing I've done I had this arbor uh, bought a couple years ago as like a clearance item at Lowe's and I had it in my vegetable garden last year um, didn't really need it there um, so I'm trying it out over here to see if I like it. And if I like where it is, I'll level it out because it's kind of lopsided right now. Um, and I, actually, I wanted to do some type of focal point right there, like some type of sculpture. Um, and I found a piece in a consignment store a couple of weeks ago. It was, it's a, it was an armillary, which is a type of sundial um, it looks like a round globe and has an arrow going uh, kind of at a 45 degree angle. And it was a really good price. And I went back a week later when they were open again and literally someone had just bought it. And it had, they said that it had been there like a month, at least a month. Of course, as soon as I wanted it, it was gone. So I was very disappointed there uh, about that armillary. Um, so a couple of other plants I planted, um, this here, this is an arbor vitae, a variety called fluffy, and, um, I had to get it, it was just, it's so pretty, um, another reason I got it is because my dog recently passed away, and I would call her fluffy sometimes, so it kind of reminds me of, of her. Um, and then here, you can't really see it, but I transplanted um, a little bobo hydrangea. Um, I had the front yard and it has literally just been so stunted over the past few years. And I moved it back here and hopefully it will do well. It barely had any root system on it. So that is pretty much it that I'm gonna do this fall in this garden. Uh, next spring I'm going to pot up some things that are in here. I have like some tall uh, native phlox um, that I'm going to dig up and and pot them up. I'm going to thin out my lemon balm um, and I had some peppermint in here. I'm probably going to take that out and put it in a pot somewhere in the vegetable garden. Um, so the only thing left on my agenda is I'm going to mulch this this winter um, and then next spring I'll do some transplanting and probably put in some more perennial type things. So I'm excited about this garden and I actually need to come up with a name uh, for this and also come up with some type of focal point. Oh, another huge thing I just did. I put in all this new edging. So it goes all the way down to the raspberries. And that was a huge job. Um, just getting the stones at the store and bringing them back here is probably most of the work, but I had to cut a whole new edge and I took the sod and filled in a low spot at the side of my house and laid all these stones which it actually wasn't wasn't too bad um and then 
here I've just kind of filled in uh, with some flat stones um, I already had those uh, that's going to be like a pathway to back there I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that or not um, and then I just have some other uh, stepping stones I like to add in here so that's it everybody hope you have a good one bye bye